Hi everybody, today we are going to learn how to create equations using what's called point-slope form. Okay, so everything we've been doing up until now um, has used slope-intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. And for this form, we needed two things. We needed the slope and we needed the y-intercept. But what happens if we don't know what the y-intercept is? That's a very, very specific point. So there's a different form that we can use to make an equation, and it's called point-slope form. And it looks like this. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So to use point-slope form, we need two things. We need the slope, which is still represented by m. So we still need the slope. Um, for whichever form we, we choose to use, we will always need to know what the slope is. So m and m, we always need to know the slope. But this time, instead of needing to know this specific point, the y-intercept, we can know any point on the graph. So we need to know the slope and a point on the graph, any point. Now that point is represented by x1, y1. So once again, this can be any point on your line. It does not need to be the y-intercept. So that's why this form is really useful. Um, it allows us to make an equation with more general information. So all you need to do is find the slope and any point and then plug in your values for m, x1, and y1. You do need to watch out for these minus signs because they are built into your equation. All right, let's give this a try. So here they ask us to create an equation in slope-intercept form. So that will be our final answer, um, but maybe it won't be what we used to start, but then it will be our final answer. In slope-intercept form of the line containing the point 7, 1, and with a slope of 4. So here you can see we cannot use slope-intercept form because we don't know what the y-intercept is, but we can use our new point-slope form. So I'm going to write the formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So remember, we need to know three things, the slope, x1, and y1, which comes from a point. So we know right here, I see that our slope is 4, and remember, slope is m. And then I also see that they tell us a point on the line. So I'm going to label that point x1, y1. So I can substitute it into our formula. So first, let's prepare for the substitution. I'm going to take out the three variables that we need. And we're going to substitute. So I see that y1 is 1. I see that m is 4, and I see that x1 is 7. So this is actually an equation in um, point-slope form, but remember, they want our final answer in slope-intercept form. They want it to look like this, y equals mx plus b. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to solve for y. We want our equation to say y equals. So the first thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to distribute the 4 to the x and the negative 7. So we get y minus 1 equals 4 times, sorry, 4 times x, which is 4x, and 4 times negative 7, which is negative 28. Now, since we are solving for y, we need to move this negative 1 using the inverse operation, which is to add 1 to both sides, and we get y equals 4x minus 27. Negative 28 plus 1 is negative 27. So this is the equation in slope-intercept form. But notice, in order to help us make this equation, we needed to use the point-slope form because that's what we were given. We were given a point and the slope. All right, let's try one more together. So here they would like us again to write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that contains the point five negative one with a slope of negative two. So once again, we can't use slope-intercept form because we don't know what the y-intercept is. However, we can use point-slope form. So let's write the formula again. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 because we have 
the slope and we have a point. So now let's label. We have x1, y1, and m. And now we need to just need to substitute. So we have y minus, well, y1 is negative 1, equals m, which is negative 2, times x minus x1, which is 5. So you'll see here that we have a two negatives next to each other, which will always become a positive. So let's rewrite that. And now we do have an equation. However, it is not in slope-intercept form. So once again, now we need to solve for y. So the first thing we're going to do is distribute the negative 2. So we get y plus 1 equals negative 2x plus 10, because negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. And then we need to finish solving for y, so we're going to subtract 1 from each side, and we're left with y equals negative 2x plus 9. And now our equation is in slope-intercept form, and we are done. All right, go ahead and pause the video and give this last one a try. We'll check our answers in just a moment. All right, go ahead and check your work. Um, you can see here that we have a slope of negative 1, and we are given a point, negative 2, 5. So since we, all we have is the slope and a point, we need to use point-slope form. So we have y minus y1, which is 5, equals m, which is negative 1, times x minus negative 2, which is x1. So here you'll see that we should rewrite these two negatives as a plus, and then we need to put our equation into this slope-intercept form. So we're going to distribute the negative, so it becomes negative x minus 2, and then to finish solving for y, we need to add 5 to each side. So you should get y equals negative x plus 3. All right, that's all for today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching.